Welcome to the Literary Digest. Please subscribe to the channel or give a like and comment on this video if you find it helpful to help us reach more people. Stop stressing, start performing, get the job you want. Sam Mullins once hated job interviews. In 2007, he entered business school with high hopes of landing a great internship. But after a series of rejections from companies like Target and Walmart, he realized his interview skills were holding him back. Despite his qualifications, Owens wasn't getting offers, and his confidence took a hit. Eventually, he secured an internship, but only by luck, not skill. Determined to improve, he spent years studying how to master interviews, which transformed not only his career, but also the careers of hundreds of others. One of those people was Heather, a mid-career professional being pushed out of her job after a decade. Filled with fear and uncertainty, she dreaded the idea of starting over. But with Owen's help, she rebuilt her confidence and learned how to approach interviews with a winning mindset. In just two months, she landed a fantastic job and finally shed tears of relief and joy. In this summary, you'll learn the key strategies Owens teaches to help anyone become a standout candidate in interviews. From mastering common questions to building confidence and delivering impressive answers, you'll get a step-by-step -step guide to interview success. You'll also discover the mental blocks that hold people back and how to overcome them. By the end, you'll be ready to face any interview with confidence, knowing that you have the tools to win the job you want. Chapter 1 – Developing Confidence Through Preparation and Insight Being in yourself is essential when preparing for a job interview. Confidence shapes how others perceive you, but it's something you must build through hard work. So, to show confidence that convinces interviewers, prepare thoroughly. Remember, confidence comes from practice, not just a temporary boost. When you've prepared well, it will naturally come through in your responses and demeanor. Start by clearing your mind of any negative thoughts that might hold you back. Don't let doubts about your abilities or feelings that you're not the quote-unquote right type for the role linger. They're mental trash you need to get rid of immediately. Now, once you've cleared your mind, focus on what makes you uncomfortable. Embrace the parts of interview preparation that give you the most anxiety. Instead of avoiding them, lean into the discomfort. Mastering these difficult areas builds true confidence and gives you a significant edge over others. Allow yourself to work on these areas until they no longer intimidate you. Be sure to commit to 10 total hours of preparation. Spend three hours researching the company's history, values, and products, and talk to people who know the organization if possible. Then dedicate three more hours to developing your key examples, specific stories that showcase your strengths as they relate to the job. Finally, use four hours to practice your responses out loud. This may feel awkward at first, but practicing ensures your answers are smooth and natural, giving you the ability to improvise when necessary. Take the extra step of gathering inside information through informational interviews. Reach out to people who know the company to gain insights that go beyond what you'll find online. These conversations will help you understand the company culture, current challenges, and even the personalities of the people you'll meet during your interview. This knowledge will allow you to tailor your answers and show that you understand the company's needs. Prepare for these conversations by researching the person you'll be speaking with. Express sincere appreciation for their time, ask thoughtful questions, and actively listen. At the end of the conversation, ask if there's anyone else they suggest you talk to. Expanding your network can uncover even more opportunities. In short, prepare by clearing negative thoughts, embracing discomfort, committing to 10 hours of research, and seeking inside information. When you follow these steps, you'll build the confidence that sets you apart and helps you secure the job. Chapter 2 – Positioning and Practice To stand out in a job interview, it's important to position yourself strategically. This begins with studying the job description carefully. Job descriptions aren't just lists of requirements. 
they tell you what the company values most in a candidate. By identifying the key skills or experiences the employer is seeking, you can tailor your preparation. Focus especially on the first few listed skills, as these are usually the most important. Once you understand the job requirements, build power examples from your own experiences. These are specific instances that highlight the skills the company is looking for. The more tangible and relevant they are, the stronger your answers will be. You should have at least three examples for each major skill in the job description. Your examples should always position you as the person who solved the problem or took the lead in a situation. If your experience doesn't perfectly match the job requirements, you can bridge your experience by drawing connections between what you've done and what the company needs. This technique helps show that you have transferable skills that make you a good fit for the role. The next step is practice. Just like learning a new language, the best way to get better at interviews is by actively practicing them. It's not enough to prepare your answers in your head or on paper. You need to say them out loud. Start by reading your responses aloud to hear how they sound. Then practice going off book, where you give your answers from memory. This helps you become comfortable with the material and avoid sounding rehearsed. A mock interview is the final, most effective stage of preparation. Find someone who'll take the practice seriously, whether it's a professional coach or a friend. Simulate the real interview experience as closely as possible without breaking character and only ask for feedback at the end. Ideally, you should do two mock interviews to polish your performance. This preparation helps you uncover weaknesses before the real thing, giving you a significant advantage. By understanding the job description, building strong examples, and practicing effectively, you'll be able to position yourself as the best candidate in the interview. The key is preparation, which not only boosts your confidence, but makes sure your interview stands out for all the right reasons. Chapter 3. Succeeding with Introductory behavioral, and scenario questions. When you're preparing for a job interview, remember that the first question can set the tone for everything that follows. It's your chance to create momentum by showing the interviewer why you're the perfect fit. You'll often hear questions like, tell me about yourself, or why do you want this job? These may sound casual, but they're designed to see how well you can highlight your relevant skills, your performance history, and why you're genuinely interested in the role. The key is to persuade without being pushy. Start with gratitude. Acknowledging the interviewer's time sets a positive tone. Then use facts and examples to show your strengths. Get the interviewer's right to form their opinions, and they'll be more convinced. Most importantly, radiate positivity. Even if you've had negative experiences, never bring them up. It can make you seem like a risky hire. Instead, focus on your skills, results, and interest in the role. Once you've nailed that first question, behavioral questions will follow. These tell me about a time when questions reveal how you've handled specific situations in the past. To make your answers compelling, focus on storytelling. The brain connects more with stories than with data or abstract ideas. Stories stick because they're specific, emotional, and show your ability to deliver results. Since there are countless ways you might be asked about your past, group questions by skill. This way you can have a few well-rehearsed stories ready. To answer behavioral questions, follow the SPAR model, which stands for situation, problem, action, and result. Start with brief context, then describe the problem to build interest. After that, explain the actions you took to address it. Focus on your personal contributions, not the team's. Finally, share a measurable result that shows your efforts paid off. If you're asked about leadership, you don't need 20 stories. Just two or three strong examples will work. Adjust them slightly depending on the question. The same applies to questions about working with others, thinking strategically, or driving results. 
Next, you might face scenario questions, which ask you to think on the spot. These questions test how you break down problems and suggest solutions. While you can't prepare answers to every scenario, use the home-based model to give yourself structure. First, establish a broad principle for your answer. Then explore paths by discussing options and their pros and cons. Finally, either choose the best option or summarize your thoughts. Scenario questions can feel ambiguous, but that's the point. The interviewer wants to see how you think and respond when you're given a challenge without clear answers. By staying calm and following a structured approach, you can confidently handle these questions and show you have the right mindset for the role. Chapter 4 Answering Tough, Creative, Illegal, and Wacky Questions In an interview, you may face unexpected and challenging questions designed to throw you off balance. These can include trap questions that appear harmless but can lead you into negative territory, such as, why are you leaving your current job? Or what didn't you like about your last boss? To answer them effectively, stay positive. Instead of focusing on what went wrong, emphasize what you learned or how the new role offers better opportunities. Always avoid speaking poorly about a previous employer, as that can reflect badly on you. Some questions will test your ability to think creatively under pressure. For instance, you might be asked to brainstorm product ideas or come up with ways to market something in real time. These questions aren't about perfection, but about how fast you can generate ideas. The key is to let your mind go and have fun with the challenge. It's important to remember that everyone has creative potential, and you can tap into it by asking yourself questions about the problem at hand, such as who the target audience is or how the product can be used in unexpected ways. Illegal questions are another tricky area in interviews. These include questions about your age, race, marital status, or country of origin. If asked something illegal, you have several options. You can politely ask why the question is relevant, redirect the conversation to job requirements, or directly inform the interviewer that the question isn't appropriate. In some cases, you may choose to answer the question if it seems harmless or if you believe the interviewer was simply inexperienced. Lastly, you might encounter odd or wacky questions that seem completely unrelated to the job, such as, what's your spirit animal? Or if you were stuck on a desert island, how would you spend your time? These questions are meant to test how you react to the unexpected, and there's no single correct answer. The important thing is to answer confidently and with an explanation, even if the question seems strange. You can also use these moments to tie your response back to personal traits that match the role, demonstrating your flexibility and ability to handle the unpredictable. By preparing for these types of questions, whether traps, creativity challenges, illegal inquiries, or wacky curveballs, you can approach interviews with confidence and poise, ready to handle whatever comes your way. Chapter 5 Finishing Strongly in Your Interviews and Negotiations When you're in an interview, it's important to finish strong. The end of the conversation is your chance to leave a lasting impression. So when asked if you have any questions, make sure they are engaging and thoughtful. Instead of asking questions designed to make you look smart or that focus on your own needs, keep the conversation centered on the job itself and the company. For instance, ask about the company's challenges, what excites the interviewer about their work, or the qualities that make employees successful. This keeps the tone positive and shows genuine interest in the role. You also need to address any concerns the interviewer might have. Sometimes you can sense these concerns through their questions or reactions. If you're unsure, ask directly if there's anything about your candidacy that's unclear or troubling. It's important to resolve any doubts before leaving the room. When responding to a concern, acknowledge it first and then explain why you're still a good fit. For example, if they bring up your lack of experience, point out other strengths or experiences that compensate for that. By doing this, you turn a possible negative into an opportunity to reinforce your value. At the end, clearly express your excitement about the job and ask about the next steps. 
This gives you a concrete follow-up point and reduces any post-interview anxiety. Finally, when you get a job offer, negotiating your compensation is essential to ensure you're paid fairly. The best time to negotiate is when you have the offer in writing, as this is when you have the most leverage. You should focus outward on the value you bring to the company rather than making the conversation about your needs or feelings of fairness. Highlight the unique skills and experience you offer and how those can benefit the employer. It's important to remember that negotiations aren't just about salary. You can also discuss bonuses, vacation time, remote work options, or other perks. Companies are more likely to negotiate if they know you're enthusiastic about the job, so make sure they know you want the role. Throughout the process, be professional and likable. Negotiating hard doesn't typically burn bridges, but dragging out negotiations can. You need to be clear about what's most important to you, justify your requests, and rehearse your delivery. A good negotiation ends with both sides feeling like they've struck a fair deal, ensuring a successful start to your new role. Final Summary In this summary to I Hate Job Interviews by Sam Owens, you've learned that securing your desired job involves building confidence through thorough preparation, strategically aligning yourself with job requirements, mastering various interview question types, and finishing interviews strongly. By applying these strategies, you're equipped to transform your interview skills and advance your career with confidence and enthusiasm. So, now that you know what it takes, get out there and nail your next interview. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, keep striving for success.